this video, I'm going to cover example ACT problems that involve inequalities. First, I want to go through a few examples on how to solve inequalities. This is going to be similar to solving equations where you want to get the x by itself. So this first one, 3x plus 1 is less than 13. So I want to get the x by itself, so I subtract 1 from both sides. It'll give me 3x is less than 12. And then divide both sides by 3. It'll give me x is less than 14. Now with the inequality, you'll get one value. x is equal to something specific. Here is saying any value less than 4 will work in the inequality. So for example, if I use 3, so that means 3 times 3 plus 1 is less than 13. 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 plus 1 is less than 13. 9 plus 1 is 10, so it's 10 less than 13. That is true. So if I try a number 4 or greater than 4, that will not work. So I'm going to try 4. 3 times 4 plus 1 is less than 13. 12 plus 1 less than 13. And 13 less than 13. So 13 is not less than 13. It's equal to it, but it's not less than. So this is false. If I try a number higher than that, let's say 7, 3 times 7 plus 1 is less than 13, 21 plus 1 is less than 13, or 22 is less than 13. So 22 is not less than 13, so this is false. So only numbers less than 4 will come out true in the inequality. On the second one, we have negative 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 26. So I'm going to get the x by itself, so I subtract 5 from both sides. So negative 3x greater than or equal to 21. I need to divide by negative 3. All right, so that gives me x here and negative 7 over here. Now, whenever you divide by a negative number, you need to change the direction of the symbol. So instead of greater than or equal to, it's going to be less than or equal. Okay, so that's a rule with inequalities. So at the end, if you divide by a negative number, you need to change the direction of the symbol. So this is any x value less than or equal to negative 7 will work out in the inequality. So what's a number less than negative 7? It would be negative 10. So negative 3 times negative 10 plus 5 greater than or equal to 26. So negative 3 times negative 10 is positive 30. So 30 plus 5 greater than or equal to 26 or 35 is greater than or equal to 26. And that is true. 35 is greater than or equal to 26. Now if I try a number that's greater than that, let's say x equals 0. I get negative 3 times 0 plus 5 greater than or equal to 26. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. And plus 5. And 5 greater than or equal to 26. 5 is not greater than or equal to 26, so this is false. Okay, so our solution gives you what values make that inequality true. All right, so here's another example. So this is called a compound inequality. So I have, you read it from the middle, 3x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 22. So how to solve this one, you basically do the same steps, but I'm going to do you know, the same thing I do to the middle, 
to the left and right of the inequalities. So if I subtract one from the middle, I just subtract one from the left and one from the right. So now it gives me nine. And uh, the one goes away, that adds up to zero, so just three X and then 21. Then I get the x by itself, I gotta divide by three. I also gotta divide by three here and over here. So that gives me three and x and seven. So x is greater than or equal to three and less than or equal to seven. So what values does that encompass? So that includes three, four, five, six and seven so greater than or equal to three and less than or equal to seven so this includes three four five six and seven all right so now let's try a few example act problems so this one says which of the following inequalities describes the solution set for 5x plus 3 is less than 4x minus 7. All right, so again, with our inequalities, we get the x by itself. In this case, we have x's on both sides. I want to move all the x's to the left side, so I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. It gives me 1x plus 3 is less than negative 7. Now I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So that leaves me with x. It's less than negative 10. Okay, so our answer choice A is the correct one. X is less than negative 10. So our goal here was to get the X by itself, so we have our final solution. Now this one says, what is the set of all integer solutions for the inequality? X minus the square root of six is greater than or equal to negative one and less than three. So again, our goal is to get the x by itself in the middle here. So I'm going to add the square root of 6 to the middle and to both sides. So it gives me negative 1 plus the square root of 6. And just x in the middle. And 3 plus the square root of 6. So the best thing to do here is get this into decimal values. So negative 1 plus the square root of 6 is 1.4. And 3 plus the square root of 6 is 5.4. Okay, so here they want the set of all integer values. So we have to look at uh, basically whole numbers, integers, you know, and not decimal point, decimal values. So x is greater than or equal to 1.4. So that means 2 would be the next integer. And 3, 4, and it has to be less than 5.4. So that's going to include up to 5. We can't go to 6 because that's not less than 5.4. And we can't go below 1.4, so we can't use the 1. So it's going to be 2, 3, 4, and five. So answer choice B. So I hope this video helped you understand inequalities a little bit better.